beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy anytime we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy anytime we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here and then get on to the notification In the atmosphere of faith, miracles take place. In the atmosphere of faith, you can be changed. In the atmosphere of faith, miracles take place. In the atmosphere of faith, you 
never too late if you have the faith. No matter what the situation, I know that it's gonna work out. So don't doubt. It's never too late. Never too late. No matter, no matter what the situation. and outside let's worship the king of glory worship him call him the name that he deserves name him after his mighty acts tell him you're the wonder walking God we give you praise indeed tonight will be demonstration of his authority. Go ahead and pray in tongues everywhere, inside and outside. Say, Lord, for the sake of the things I desire, I position myself. Go ahead and pray. Take it seriously. God is able to do wonders. Make sure. 
Shatabala kapro sofrende gede belere bogus. Yes, Lord, you will do mighty things tonight. from your heart. Faith rise tonight. Lift your voice and let's sing it just one more time. I praise you. Inside and outside. Tell him, Lord, I came to meet you. Thank you, Jesus. Go ahead. Why not you? Heal. Disease. No power in hell will stop you tonight. From entering where God has destined for you, I tell you, no power in existence will stop you tonight. You're my glory, you're the lifter up of my head. You're my glory, you're the lifter up of my head. Come on, sing it with me. You're my glory, you're the lifter up of my head. You're my glory. You're the leaf of my head, but thou, O oh Lord, but thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. My glory, you're the leaf to rub of my head, but thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. up tonight you will lift us up tonight 
Aleluya. Aleluya Aleluya To welcome everyone tonight to our miracle service It's not a name it's an experience you'll never be the same tonight Hallelujah God is here for you Out help me sound people Let Yeah Praise the Lord. Let your faith reach out tonight. And I assure you that God will do great and awesome things. If you believe that, say amen. amen. If you really believe it, shout amen. amen. Hallelujah. Walk up to everyone around you. Tell him you are, you are in for an experience tonight. No, no, no. Make sure you mean it. Turn around. Tell someone you are in for an experience. Those of you frowning, relax. God is here. Come on. Smile like you know he's here. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. God is a miracle walker. God is. Sing it only if you believe what you're saying. God is. I know you are a miracle. You are a miracle walker. Sing it with faith in your heart. Yeah. I know you are a miracle. Walker. One more time. Hey. You are a miracle. Jesus, do mighty things tonight. Mighty things. Let there be a clear demonstration of the superiority of light over darkness. In the mighty name of Jesus, do great and awe-inspiring things by the power of your spirit tonight. We position ourselves, we pray that everyone who has come and is under the sound of my voice will not go back the same that the lord will so overwhelm you that it will affect your family members we pray for our online membership we pray that the power of god will touch them all over this nation and outside of this nation in the name of jesus christ we subject every power from the realm of the spirit that is not of god and we declare that you will bow to the name of Jesus tonight. The name of Jesus, I pray. God bless you. Be seated for a while. Hallelujah. Welcome, everyone. It's always, it's always a delight to experience our miracle services. And I assure you that you will never, never be the same tonight. Especially want to welcome as many. We always have people coming from different states around this nation. Thank you so much for believing in what God is doing in this place and coming to experience Him. We have people coming from all over, campuses, communities, different states. You have come to meet with the Lord and you will meet with Him tonight in the name of Jesus. Amen. I'll just share a few things to stir up our faith and then we'll go straight to the business of tonight. 
Hallelujah. Matthew 8. Matthew 8. Hallelujah. I'd like you to listen attentively because what you will hear tonight will position your faith. Hallelujah. God's instrument, listen. God's instrument for deliverance, for salvation, for emancipation has always been his word. The Bible says he sent forth his word and his word he led them. He sent forth his word. So every time the word of God begins to come, position yourself to receive. Hallelujah. This is the difference between magicians and miracle workers. Magicians just concoct things and consult with powers in the realm of the spirit. Just respond to covenants and sacrifices. But you see, the believer will only receive miracles according to the word of God that you receive and you believe. Say amen. So Matthew 8. Thank you, Jesus. Verse 16. Matthew 8, verse 16. If you are there, say amen. amen. And when the evening was come, they brought unto him many that were possessed with demons. And he cast out the spirits with his word and healed all that were sick. That it might be fulfilled which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet saying, He himself took our infirmities and bore our sicknesses. When the evening was come, they brought unto him many who were possessed with demons. And he cast out the spirits with his word and healed all they that were sick. Hallelujah. Now I'd like to teach you a few spiritual truths and then we will pray. Hallelujah. The first thing I'd like you to know tonight is the relationship between your spirit and your body. Please follow me. I prayed and I told the Lord, I said, Lord, let everyone who came here tonight receive a real touch from God. Hallelujah. Now, you are a spirit. Everyone say, I'm a spirit. Whether you believe it or not, just say it. Say, I'm a spirit. Now, you are a spirit. And your body, listen please. A spirit is a personality that cannot find expression in this material realm. Please listen. A spirit, any spirit, the spirit of God, spirit of man, evil spirit. They are personalities. That means they have potentials to express themselves. But the jurisdiction of their expression as spirits is only limited in the realm of the spirit. Are you listening to me? It so happens according to the principles of God that you must have a material body for you to be able to find expression in this material realm. Are you following me now? And so these spirits have bodies but cannot find expression in the earth realm. So God made a body. Listen, please. God made a body and put five senses around that body. The purpose of the five senses in your body is to aid your spirit man in finding expression in this material realm. Are you listening to me now? Are you following me? This is very, very important. If you get what I'm teaching you, some of you will not even need prayer. I'm telling you, the demons and the devils will just leave and the sicknesses will disappear. It takes understanding. Are you following me now? And so, God made a body. Listen. He prepared a body and deposited your spirit in that body. Now, your body, this material body is not the real you. Are you listening to me? This material body was designed to help your spirit find expression in this earth realm. So, the only way your spirit man can see in this earth realm is through your optical eyes. Are you listening to me? So if a man is blind, the spirit man cannot find expression in this realm because there are no physical eyes to aid it. Are you listening to me? So your hands aid your spirit man to express itself. Your feet helps your spirit man to express. That's why the church is called the body that the spirit of Christ uses to find expression in the earth. You see why the church is called the body of Christ? The body that has been prepared so that the spirit of God, when he wants to find expression in this realm, he will be able to use that body. Are you following me now? 
So we have established the fact that your spirit is the real you. A real personality, but is hindered. That means the spirit of God, the spirit of man, and demon spirits are perpetually under a state of, let me use the word torture, until they can find a human spirit with which to find expression. Are you listening to me? So, the spirit of God will always seek for an opportunity to find a material vessel. And there are several materials that we have in our world. We have trees. Listen. We have the sea. We have the constellations, the stars. We have human beings. We have animals. But it so happens that because only man was created in the image and likeness of God. Are you listening to me? So man has the most diverse ways of allowing any spirit to find expression. Are you listening to me? Other lower animals can, to a limited extent, allow any spirit to find expression. But the best vessel that can allow any spirit to find expression is a human being. Are you listening to me? Because we have a mind that can reason. Hallelujah. We have a brain. We, are, we have intellectual faculties that aid in the expressions that we can find. In a very clear and intelligent way. So it makes it very easy for human vessels to be God's most treasured vessels through which you will find expression. And then at the same time, demon spirits also seek human beings. Are you listening to me? If it is true that man has the most diverse ways of allowing any spirit find expression in the earth realm. Please, are you following me tonight? So, you are a spirit, correct? A body was given to that spirit to find expression. Hallelujah. And that was why when Jesus wanted to come and redeem man, what happened? The word, which is spirit and life, was torn and given a body that had to grow in the womb of a woman. Are you listening to me? So when that body was born, the spirit could find expression in that body and they named him Jesus. But the original name is not Jesus. His original name is the word of God. Revelations 19. John 1 1 in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was with God dwelling in heaven which is not a physical material realm so there was no resistance are you listening to me and then a body was prepared for him and it helped him to find expression in this physical body praise the Lord this is a very very important fact listen that means Listen, please. When your spirit leaves your body, what happens? It's called death. Is that correct? That means the only condition for your body to continue finding expression is what? That means the body has no life of itself. It assumes the life that it receives from the spirit. Listen to me. I'm, follow me carefully. I want to establish something in the realm of the spirit. Therefore, if there is a growth in someone's body that is a material body is that correct but another life another spirit is sponsoring the growth of it that is not biological are you listening to me i'm giving you the dynamics of sickness and infirmity so that growth is being sponsored by another life that's why the growth is not the same with that of the body. Are you following me now? If it was being sponsored by the same energy of the body, they will all grow at the same pace. Suddenly you find out that there is an unusual manifestation. That means there is a different life that that growth is living upon. Lord, open our eyes tonight. Hallelujah. And that means that for as long as there is a spirit or another life that sponsors the growth of that thing, it will keep growing. Is that correct? The only condition for it to stop growing is if the spirit of the man leaves. Are you listening to me? 
Amazing. If it is true that every material body is dead, are you listening to me? It means it can only be moved when another body, another force acts upon it. This is Newton's first law of mechanics, isn't it? Everybody remains in a state of rest until it is acted, acted upon by an external force. So your body remains like this. If your spirit man moves, your body will move. Are you listening to me? Follow this. Between your body and your spirit is a faculty of expression called your mind. Everybody say after me, your mind. Don't worry, don't use the word soul. Just use the word mind. And the mind helps you to mediate between the realm of the spirit and this physical realm. Hallelujah. That's where your ideologies are crystallized and fashioned. And so, your mind plays a major role in transferring the realities that are locked up from your spirit man to this physical realm. Are you listening to me? That means a healthy mind will be able to permit the things that are in the realm of the spirit to find expression. An unhealthy mind will cause a blockage. Are you listening to me, please? This is a very powerful spiritual principle. Listen. Every disease and every sickness that you see is a material expression of the presence of another life that is sponsoring it are you following me now and so it's not so much about healing the sick as it is about terminating the reign of the spirit that sponsors the life of it now medical science has tried and it interprets these expressions in different ways we are going to ex to consider a few things in scripture how many of you believe what i've shared so far Let's consider the scripture we read now quickly. Matthew 8, verse 16. Now you will understand. Thank you, Lord Jesus. My God, the power of God is in this place. Are you there? Now let's read together. And read carefully. Many of you read your Bible like your textbook. Now read it from the light of God's word. As when the evening was come, they brought to him many that were possessed with demons. Hold on. Hold on. Look up. Look up. Look up, everybody. They brought to him what category of people? Those who were possessed. Is that correct? Now let's read what happened. Next verse. And he cast out the devils with his word and healed all they that were sick. Hold on. The Bible didn't say they brought the sick to him. He said they brought those who were under the influence of demons. And then he casted the devils and healed again. Somebody is not getting this. The Bible did not say they brought the sick. Read it. When the evening was come, they brought to him many that were what? Possessed. The word there is influence with devils. Regardless of what the influence was, as Jesus began to minister to them, he found out that some of those demons cause sickness. Some of them cause oppression. But regardless of what it is, the root cause was the devils. Are you getting something tonight? So who is the author of sickness? This is not, listen, keep medicine aside. I love doctors. But I want to explain to you because if you keep explaining away sicknesses and diseases without having a proper understanding, many of us believe that it's God's will for you to be healed. But you can never have faith until a word is given to you to have faith upon. And this is what I'm trying to establish. First John 3 verse 8. Let me show you something interesting there. First John 3 verse 8. Sickness and oppression and infirmity cannot be from God. Are you listening to me? It cannot be from God. First John, are you there? 
It says, he that committed sin is of the devil, for the devil sinned from the beginning. Let's read the B part together. I want to read. For this purpose was the Son of God made manifest that he may do what? Destroy the work of the devil. That means there is a certain manifestation in this earth realm that is giving the theme the work of the devil. So, God was manifest to do what? Destroy, annihilate cast away the work of the devil he said the work of who did he say the work of jesus now believers get it clear tonight that everything that is not consistent with the word of god in your life is of the devil if you do not get to that point where you accept that it is of the devil you will not see any need to do something about it and if you do not do anything about it, nothing will happen. I assure you. Many people pray in tongues. Oh, by stripes I'm healed. But they don't do it with revelation, you see. It's not just enough to pray for people. It's enough for you to have revelation. So that your faith can, you can be in partnership with the Holy Spirit. As I'm speaking right now, there are people already getting free. Because your mindset is changing. You have been given a mindset that, oh, this thing is of God and you've been laughing about it. You are molested in the night. You cannot sleep. People come and sleep with you, try to molest you, try to do, and you are laughing. You are saying, maybe it's just a social thing. For this purpose was the Son of God made manifest that he would do what? Destroy the works. Hallelujah. Acts 10 38. Acts 10 38. Peter speaking in the house of Cornelius. He said, How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost, first the presence, and then with power. And as a result, he went about. Jesus only does good. He went about from city to city, from location to location, doing what? Everybody said, Doing good. God does only good. God is a good God. Get that straight. God does only good. God is a good God. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth, the Bible says, with the Holy Ghost and with power. He said he went about from city to city, from place to place, doing good. He said, for God was with him. Doing good. That means what does Satan do? John 10.10 10. He's given a name, the thief. He said, the thief cometh not but to steal. That means you will never see him in a place except to steal, to kill, and to destroy. He said, but I am come that ye may have life and to have it more abundantly. The thief cometh not but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. He said, but I am come that he may have life and have it more abundantly. Say amen. amen. The devil is in trouble tonight, I tell you. So, we have now found out according to the word of God that it is the operation of another spirit that is responsible for all the growth and the tumors and all of these demonic things. Hallelujah. Whether you call it disease, whether you call it sicknesses, it doesn't matter what you call it. Do you agree with me so far? Hallelujah. Let me show you two incidences from the Bible. Luke 13, quickly. Let's hurry up. Luke 13. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're the Lord most high. Jesus Christ. You are the Elion of Israel. Elion, you're the Lord most high. Jesus Christ, you are the Elion of Israel. Hallelujah. Those spirits, listen. They are the ones responsible for what you call barrenness. See, uh, let's, let, me, let me allow the word speak for itself. Luke 13, from verse 10. 
If you're there, say amen. amen. Those outside, can you say praise the Lord? And he was teaching in one of the synagogues on the Sabbath. So you look up, please. A lot of people teach all kinds of demonic gospels. And they say, um, Christians cannot be influenced by demons. And they say, oh, once you are in the church, the presence of God is there. You watch where this miracle happened. The Bible says he was teaching in the synagogue. It didn't happen in a beer parlor. It was right in the synagogue. Hallelujah. And behold, there was a woman. Please read carefully. Okay, beautiful. It's projected. And behold, there was a woman which had a what? A sickness. Did she have a sickness? What did she have? A spirit that causes a manifestation called infirmity. He said a spirit of infirmity 18 years and was bowed together and could in no wise lift herself doctors what do you call this what of the spine i know it's something that has to do with the spine you need to employ doctors in koinonia 12 and when Jesus saw her, listen, listen. Come on. See, I'm telling you, Jesus inspires me. He was not a religious man. Jesus is not what we preach, brothers and sisters. Many people have misrepresented him. Look at Jesus. When Jesus saw her, I can imagine a man with authority just looking. Absolute authority. He knew what was wrong in the spirit and he knew exactly what to do. The Bible says, he said unto her, Woman! Thou art, it didn't say thou art healed. It didn't say thou art healed. Woman, thou art loosed from thine. What spirit caused it? The spirit of infirmity. What disease did he cure? Infirmity. 13. Because that spirit had sponsored another growth process in her body, it made her to bend over. So that one required a healing miracle. And then he laid hands because they shall lay hands on the sick. He laid hands on her and she was made straight and glorified God. Is it in your Bible? Is it in your Bible? Hmm. Another incident. Matthew 12. Real faith is rising from this place tonight. Faith that is a product of understanding. Not just some spiritual hype. I take that. -uh. This is spiritual intelligence. You are given keys and you check Satan out of your life. Matthew 12. Verse 22. Matthew 12 verse 22. If you are there say amen. Now listen. Another incident, same Jesus. The Bible says he went about. So we are now considering the going about. Are you following me now? We are seeing the good that the Bible says he was doing. Because the Bible tells us he went about. Everywhere he went, he was doing good. What is that good? This is what we are examining. This was another occasion. Then was brought unto him one, what? Possessed with a devil, comma, blind and dumb and he healed him listen in so much that the blind and dumb spake and saw blindness dumbness different medical machines can interpret it as different things but the bible tells us the devil is behind it is that in your bible matthew 9 this one is an interesting one I kept shouting at home as I meditated on these scriptures. See, gone are the days that a lot of people just stand hopelessly, not knowing what to do. The Bible says they know not. Neither do they understand. They grope in darkness and so the earth is out of course. He said, but have I not said, 
ye are gods and all of you are children of the most high he said but ye shall die like men men and fall like these princes if you understand the dynamics of healing men of god will stop bragging for nonsense because it's really god who is walking through the people matthew 9 from verse 31 matthew 9 verse 31 another incident okay it says but they when they were departed spread abroad his fame in all that country 32 as they went out now listen another occasion they brought to him a dumb man what was responsible for his dumbness is it in your bible please i wonder how satan covered this thing from the church even those who move in the anointing do not know what happens they just know they say i don't know what happened i'm showing you what happens light over darkness he said the light shines in the darkness and the darkness cannot comprehend it a dumb man possessed with a devil 33 and when the devil was cast out what happened there was a miracle instantly until the devil was cast out until that life that spirit that brings it is a is is a is like a demonic cell and dna when it comes it permits that spirit to manifest its nature in that body and the multitudes marvel saying it was never so in israel let's look at one scripture mark 9 mark 9 it's a long reading but then i'll just go straight to 25. this was jesus when he came down from the mount of transfiguration the bible tells us that there was a young man who was possessed with a dumb spirit and alongside with it he was epileptic hallelujah and he would fall in the fire and fall here and there and the disciples prayed for him but nothing happened they prayed and prayed and nothing happened jesus again i'm telling you jesus is my role model He's, he inspires me my god when jesus every time jesus sees something there's going to be a miracle there when jesus saw he didn't just see and say yeah toh, we live in nigeria and this reality no when he saw it he knew that this was darkness hallelujah when jesus saw that the people came running together he rebuked what the foul spirit saying unto him thou dumb and deaf spirit i charge thee come out of him and enter no more into him 26 the Bible says, and the spirit cried. The spirit didn't laugh. This was Jesus. Many spirits laugh in our churches. That means something is wrong. The Bible says that the spirits cried. They knew this was business. They were div Jesus did not play games. When he met you and you were a demon possessed person, you were whatever it was just know that the demons knew for sure they were going the only negotiation in the bible was where to go but they knew they were going we have so many people who come believers and unbelievers alike they come with different sicknesses and oppressions we jump around in church and we rejoice and there is no demonstration of the authority of light over darkness everywhere jesus went there was news why because there was a superiority the, kingdom. the bible says having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof this is why people run to herbalists because we keep talking 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 grammar on stage we wear suits we talk grammar on stage And he was as one dead in so much that many said he is dead 27 
But Jesus took him by the hand and lifted him up. And he arose. Have I been able to prove to you that Satan is responsible for the darkness and the evil? The medical name for this is epilepsy. He's thrown into the fire and so on and so forth. But Jesus tells us it's as a result of the presence of an evil spirit. So what is the name of what is happening in your own house? They've given him a nice, they've given it a nice counseling name. Between your father and your mother, they call it misunderstanding, which is part of the human nature. Let's see what Jesus will call it this night. Because Jesus has a name. Different from that which society. Do you know the Bible says one time Jesus was in a temple and there was a stubborn man who was just disturbing the temple. Had an unclean spirit. Jesus just casted that devil. Hallelujah. For as long as you just resolve in giving biological explanations alone. Listen, I'm challenging you. Don't you just laugh over it. Ah, this menstrual pain is like that since when I was small. You really think so? Ah, I'm like that too. Ah, but every time I sleep, this and that happens. Every first this of that, rainy season, it happens. All kinds of boils begin to come. I'm like that. See, forget it. It's like that. Let me tell you tonight, there is a devil you need to confront. I was oppressed for years. I've shared my story. I was born again. Genuinely born again. Not this thing people do. I was, when I got born again, the devil knew that he lost someone. I was filled with the Holy Ghost. I was setting people free. Yet I myself was oppressed. Are you listening to me? Many men of God will not open up and tell you the truth. I would sleep in the night and demon spirits will come and oppress me. Sometimes I would see them. I would hear voices but to wake up, no way. No way. I couldn't wake up. Some of you have been having that experience. At a point I wanted to ask my parents, is this how everybody sleeps? Hallelujah. But then light came into me. When light came into me, I ran. I used to stay in area BZ. I ran there and I begged the demons to come. I didn't, I didn't cast them. I pleaded with them to come. If I don't sleep today, it's because I'm walking. He giveth his beloved sound sleep. There are many people who cannot sleep until they take all kinds of pills. Satan is behind a lot of things. Someone was ministered to here in one of our miracle services. And after the meeting, he met me. Hallelujah. He was healed of HIV. What was the problem? It's not like, that's why you see, in the body of Christ, listen, when we come to meetings like this, you must have a, you must have a heart of love. We have people with critical and cynical spirits. That's what stops other people from getting because they feel embarrassed. You can see someone with HIV and people are just looking and saying, hey, this girl, thank God, since this her legs will not stay in one place. No. You don't know what happened. You just conclude. As if you too, you are safe. You wait first. When God moves, we'll know who is. Before your presence, amen, change me. And how did he get the HIV? Very simple. He was sleeping in the night, sir. And then someone just came to him with a syringe and said, this is HIV virus and injected it. And the guy woke up and he, he, he injected it another life, another spirit that began to cripple his body. And when I saw it, I smiled. I said, mister, you call it HIV. This was given to us by science. Spiritual people know what is called. They casted that devil. There are many of you who have your children. They can't sleep in the night. They wake up and they are crying. You just say it's because the, the weather is hot. You think so? See, don't laugh about this because we are here for business tonight. 
You see why? A lot of men of God have shied away from these things. Because they know if you are to confront the devil, you cannot be watching Arsenal and Man U. And they are not ready, so they just say, forget it. Uh, it's, church is not just all about manifestation. Give people the word, let them receive it and digest it. The Bible says how God anointed Jesus not to wear suits and raise money. He went about. There was business to be done. I assure you tonight, whatever force followed you here will bow tonight. Listen, another thing I want to stress is this. Please look up. I need to answer this question once and for all. Do believers get possessed? Do, don't they get possessed? And all of that. Now listen to me. I explained to you the difference between the spirit and the body. Now I've had a lot of people preach in different ministries and churches. I love them but I don't love their ignorance. Hallelujah. Because so many people have preached and have said all of these things. You don't worry. There's nothing like, I mean, setting people free from all of this. Just allow people, when you give them the word, they will grow by themselves. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Look up. How many of you believe Jesus died to give you the blessings of the kingdom? How many of you know, although that is a reality, there are principles you follow to make it real in your life. So also, although Jesus had conquered Satan, Satan will not live by himself until you command him to go. Psalm 66 verse 3. How awe-inspiring are your ways, O Lord. He said, through the greatness of thy power will thy enemies submit themselves. Through the greatness of thy power will thy enemies submit themselves. There are many believers who are born again. Now watch this. I want to tell you how Satan brings havoc to certain people. Quickly, Isaiah. To the way it used to be before your presence came and changed me. Isaiah 49. I won't go back Verse 29. To the way I used to be before your presence. Verse 24, sorry. Isaiah 49, verse 24. Everyone read. One, two, read. Shall the prey be taken from the mighty? This is a question. Or the word? Hold on. He didn't say the captive. He used an interesting word. What was the word? Lawful. Legal. Legitimate. This is a question a prophet of God is asking. He says, shall the prey be taken from the mighty? Or the lawful captive be delivered? 25. He said, but thus saith the Lord, even the captive of the mighty shall be taken away and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered for i will contend with him that contend with you and i will save your children 26 26 and i will feed them that oppress you with their own flesh and they shall be drunken with their own blood as with sweet wine and all flesh shall know that i am the lord thy god thy savior thy redeemer the mighty one of jacob 27 Okay. Praise God. Many scriptures are in my head. But did you get the picture now? Shall the lawful captives. Hold on. Who is a lawful captive? Brothers and sisters, look at me and let me teach you something that will set you free tonight. Are you listening to me? Now, I'm not a preacher of deliverance or Satan or curses and all of this. But I need you to know. I read something interesting in the Bible. He said, as for me and who? Say it. As for me and who? They did call every member of the house to ask him, are you interested in following God? No. Are you interested in following God? Somebody represented the family and said, on behalf of myself and every man that is under my covering, we will serve the Lord. That means somebody can stand and say, on behalf of myself and whoever is under my covering, I would, I would, I would sacrifice to this devil. Hold on. You can get born again. Your salvation is personal, not territorial. It's personal, not territorial. So although you are born again, you are filled with the Holy Spirit. On legal grounds, certain spirits...
spirit have been committed to find expression and in the realm of the spirit everything happens on legal grounds hallelujah this is why although people are born again certain territories are associated with certain demonic manifestations hallelujah when you say you come from Kogi, people just say, ah, temperous people. When you come from Kaduna, they say, all these people, they are men. Don't do this. When you come from this, they say, ah, these people drink. Why do they associate territories with habits? The demons in the man in Gadara. Gadara was the name of a city. And that man was the, the, a place of residence for those demons. They would go and oppress people and come back to the man. That's why he stayed in caves alone. Because there were already two men inside that cave. A legion. Hallelujah. When Jesus was about to come, they knew and they began to react. They were causing the boy's terror storm. And when Jesus calmed the sea, nobody gave the man information that Jesus was coming. But as soon as Jesus got to the other side, the madman was the first. Together with the legions of demons under that territory, they came to negotiate and said, Jesus Christ, we are pleading with you. Just, um, we have stayed in this territory for long. And even though you cast us out of the man, let's remain in the territory. So you see a man and a woman, lovely people, they get married. And another thing I need to tell you about demons is, Demons can pacify themselves in the soul of a man for years and decades until the time of manifestation. Oh, that is possible. So your mother marries your father and she sees someone else and says, this is not the man I married. Hallelujah. And your mother begins to gist you and say, when we're going out, your daddy loved me. He used to carry me even in public. I asked him, I said, wouldn't you be ashamed? He said, for you, what can I not do? But now, now, the way you know that he's there with his wife is you hear a slap. Ah, 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 come and help me. And you see the man fuming. And then later he will calm down as if he's not the one. To the way it used to be before your presence. So you see a man of God who is anointed, raising crutches, but when he gets angry, he can kill you with his temper. He's anointed. He's born again. But there are lawful captives. It takes authority in the spirit. It takes, listen, this one is not demon possession because you are born again. A believer cannot be possessed. However, you can be influenced from the realm of your mind and soul you can be influenced such that although you are born again you are seeing yourself carrying out the agenda of another ask paul paul said with my body my spirit i serve god but in my body i see another law working so that the things i want to do this is the apostle speaking i don't find myself doing it the things i don't want to do there are many people who are there are men of god suffering from lust and masturbation and all they can't help it they are married they thought the remedy was marriage they've slept with their wife every day they are still not satisfied it's a spirit 98 percent of issues of barrenness i tell you the truth under god it doesn't matter what form it appeared in is the manifestation of these demons and these devils why see we come from an african culture don't compare us with the united states they are about 250 years old a generation paid the price they had founding fathers who entered covenants on behalf of the land so although they are perverse now they are still lawfully blessed are you seeing it individually they are perverting god but on account of the legal access that was given to God on behalf of that territory, they still live. What did we inherit? Help me, what did we inherit in Africa? What did your grandfathers do before they died? They left us with all kinds of demonic things. And hear me, 
The Bible says Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. Being made a curse for us. Hold on. This is where a lot of people just say, yes, I claim it. But look at their lives. Look at their lives. We are not honest and open to confront things in churches. Because no man wants to be associated with anything messy. You just want to be posh and nice. Unfortunately, let me tell you, if we continue like this, the devil will eat up God's people. And they will not know what is the cause. Hallelujah. Sicknesses you cannot explain. You get up and they say you are SS. I don't believe all those things, first and foremost. I honestly don't believe them. I believe in medical people. I believe that if we get to heaven, there will be a special section where God will bless doctors. One of our ladies in worship team gave birth on Wednesday. Hallelujah. We're very happy. She gave birth to a bouncing baby boy like the Hebrew women. So I went there to go and pray for the child. When I got to the labor, listen. Ha! I said God will punish every child that insults his mother. Hallelujah. I didn't even know the baby was on the bed. I thought it was blanket. They said, that's the baby. I said, where? <laughs> Hallelujah. I told myself I was going to be free from all of these things. My neighbor had been oppressed. This happened weeks ago. Oppressed with all kinds of things. And one day I got angry. I called her. I said, come. Immediately she stepped into my room. I was looking at her. Suddenly, I now saw the spirit. You see, light is a dangerous thing in the spirit. Suddenly, the woman began to manifest and say all kinds of things. And now I prayed for her and that was it. The very next day, her brother from London called and said, I cannot tell what is wrong. I can't sleep. Come and take to so her mouth. Start business. Booked flight for her to and fro. Do you know the devil is behind the predicaments of many families? But we laugh about it. We come to church. By this seed, I provoke the heavens. Wonderful. But if that's all you are going to do, I assure you, there's real trouble waiting. I know many people will not like me. It's not today. I've, 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 I'm tired of all of these things. But let me tell you the truth. You see, I vow that I must teach God's people the truth and set them free. I pray for people every day. Every day. This is not something I read in Bible college. This is a pragmatic experience. I have prayed for preachers and men of God, tongue talking, filled with the Holy Ghost. A great man of God came to introduce his fiance to me. When they came happily, he came and I was just praying for him that God would bless him. The next thing, wonderful, lovely lady. Just prayed for her and there. The demons began to shout. Say, why have you come to disturb us? Called my name Joshua Selman. I said, that's right. Jesus, I know. Paul, I know. Add me to that list. You better do so. Come on now. If your life does not threaten darkness, you are not born again. Hallelujah. And I prayed for the lady and the demon spirit was shouting and saying the plan was to keep quiet until they put that ring and they get married. Then they will evolve. He said, well, that's your cup of tea. Please go out. See, demon spirits don't just leave. 90% of the people I pray for, you hear the demon spirit say she is mine or he is mine or they are mine. Lawful captives. They are trying to speak scripture to you. But then you let them know that this is Good Friday. Come on. This was the Friday Jesus said it is finished. It is finished. It is finished. It is finished. I believe it. Satan will not just live until you let him live. When the spirit that is sponsoring that growth or that cancer is taken away, it will die. 
simple and straight when the spirit holding that womb gives way it's just that many people are not humble enough especially for women of god it takes a lot of humility you see when i saw that there was something wrong in my life i didn't keep quiet and say great man of god uh -uh. i told myself satan you've had enough hallelujah one day i heard that my sister carried axe and followed my brother i said no way what did i say say it again no way. and then you do something about it because that's how one day wife will carry axe you say i've been watching you a nice and soft lady you even gave her a name because she's soft Men of God like healing. Oh, just be healed. And then people fall down. The fact that someone fell down did not mean that he got healed. It's just that many people cannot talk. Because if you talk, they say, where is your faith? Look, let me tell you something. Faith is not foolishness. The end of faith is manifestation. They've been praying for you for five years. Nothing has happened. The people say just believe things are working you better find out what is wrong you are kicking your car for one week it didn't on you say this car you are on go and call the mechanic something's wrong with that car and and have sense enough to fix the car and don't delay your life it is an act of faith to go and call the mechanic because you are tired of the condition of that car if i didn't do anything about my life I don't know what would have happened. Many of you are here. Your families are nice people. Many people who are prayed for here, sometimes they don't even know. I wish we had time. I would have ministered to everybody one by one, but miracle services cannot afford that. Our time is very short. Nobody's married in your family. All the sisters, no marriage. They are fine, they are virtuous. All the things we've taught, they have it. A lady came one time to come and see me for prayers. When I had the lady talking, suddenly I began to sense the power of God leaving my body. I knew something was wrong. I told her, all right, my dear, come. As soon as she came, a beautiful lady opens the door. The next thing I saw, her, an old woman of maybe about 150 years entering. That's what I saw she sat down and I just calmed down I was saying God what is all this nonsense now and the lady was talking to me and crying from one relationship to the other some even as far as going to do introduction they've done everything God will just say I'm not doing why don't ask me questions I'm not doing then what happened when they tell us they say provoke with a seed and the demons help you hold the seed now I believe in the place of seed faith I believe it maybe we'll do it this night I believe it hallelujah a miracle happened in CGC there's a man that teaches I think he gave testimony one day the wife the baby was fine normal the next thing they said I don't know the name of all these ladies thing I thank God I don't know it. They just said something is wrong, Sean, that um, if they don't handle it well, whatever, these things will not go well. That's all I know. But I know Jesus was doing good. So if I'm representing him, I should do good. I told the man, I said, Wes, call your phone. Let's speak to that baby. You can't be stubborn from the womb. The Bible says John was filled with the Holy Ghost from his mother's womb. Behave! Behave. You are not born yet. You started giving your family members headache. And I spoke to that child. I said, turn to your normal position and come out the way God ordained a child to come out. This is not man of God. This is kingdom authority displayed with understanding. Let me tell you how you will know that there are legal operations of demons in your life. When you have prayed about certain things and fasted about it, come as a family and pray. There are some people that have prayed dry. 
dry. A lady is praying against lust. She's on seven days dry fasting. The sixth day she's sleeping with somebody. You need help. Are you listening to me? And the Bible says then he gave gifts to the body. You see why some people are called gifts? They are not just called gifts because of bragging. That's why God will punish any man of God he gave an anointing. And he's just using it to do every kind of merchandise. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? Before your presence came and changed me. Let's round up quickly. So what is our mandate? Luke 10, 19. I love miracle services, I'm telling you. Luke 10, 19. Are you there? Let's read. One to read. Behold, hold on. See, conceive this as a reality in your spirit. Settle it that this is not a lie from God. Behold, I give unto you power to tread upon serpents. That's what many of you see in your dreams. There is a reason God said to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over how many? How many? All the power of the enemy. He says, and nothing. That's why I cast out devils and sleep like a baby. Nothing shall by any means hurt you. This is another wrong, erroneous teaching that people teach. They say, man of God, when you pray, have some reinforcement. Wake up by 12 o'clock. Please go and sleep, for God's sake. If you had enough authority to cast out the devils, what suddenly happened to the authority? This is fear. Another teaching again is this. Look up, please. I now told you the concept of calling your father or your mother or your brothers and sisters witches is because of men of God. Are you listening to me? And because of erroneous teachings. These men of God or these prophets, they see from the realm of the spirit these demonic manifestations I'm talking about. Either as a result of legal stronghold, the next thing, they say, young lady, your mother is a witch. Either because they saw some demonic things. The Bible says, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. The spirit of Christ does not create controversy in homes. Many prophets have come to make certain men leave their wives after three or five children. Say the only solution is to leave. And some of our parents, our families were divorced today because of a so-called revelation from prophets or deliverance people. This is wrong. The spirit of Christ brings love. Every gift that comes from God, every good and perfect gift, the Bible says, comes from above. Hallelujah. So I can look at this sister now and see an oppression of darkness. Or sometimes, well, I don't talk to demons. Sometimes they don't just keep quiet. Hallelujah. Jesus said they cried out. And sometimes they are just shouting. Oh, it's my mother that did this. And maybe the brother or sister is here. I say, ah, mother. You go back now. Your mother says, come on, darling. How are you? You say, oh, no, no. So you are responsible for my... Calm down. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. While it is true that certain people can make themselves willing agents of darkness, the real battle is between spiritual wickedness. So you were sleeping and you saw your roommate in some kind of way. You just said, man, his roommate... Forget to. I won't eat her food again. I won't drink her water again. I won't do anything. Who is teaching you this kind of thing? The Bible does not teach that. It said they shall drink deadly things and it shall not hurt them. Hallelujah. Are you getting blessed tonight? Go and teach others. Because tonight God will do mighty things. So I give you power. Second scripture. Luke 9 verse 1. We'll hurry up. This is the major work we are doing. Those outside say, Praise the Lord. Everyone read Luke 9, verse 1. One to read. Then he called his disciples together and gave them power and authority over who? And to 
gave them authority. I'd like to announce to you today that the Lord has given us authority. Hallelujah. Yes, he gave us authority. Say, I have authority. And Satan will leave. Afflictions will leave. Incurable diseases will leave. And breakthrough will come. In the name of Jesus. One more scripture and then we are ready to pray. Mark 16 verse 17. Affect my life. Breathe on me. As I look to you for life. Affect my life. Breathe on me. And these signs shall not follow cynical people who are asking rubbish questions this night. Whether or not this is making sense. He said this sign shall follow them that believe. In my name they shall. That's the first thing you will do as a sign. In my name. See how the Bible deals ruthlessly with Satan. You are not supposed to keep talking. This is the problem I have with deliverance. Everything Satan. No, no, no. But we have a ministry to cast him out of our life. Say the enemy has done this. Can you look at your life and say the enemy has done this? I now see the enemy has done this. The enemy has done this havoc for my sister. The enemy has done this. So that you don't pray amiss. And I have good news for you. Over 2,000 years ago, exactly at this time, Jesus hung upon the cross and he made three powerful words. It is. Not it was. Not it will be. It is finished. I'd like you to prophesy. It is finished. Affliction is finished. Cancer is finished. HIV is finished. Demonic oppression is finished. That's what the Bible says. Listen, you must announce to principalities and powers that I'm born again. The blood of Jesus has made way. You are an illegal occupant. And by faith and the authority of the Lord, I will now enforce that which has been finished on the cross. This is the legal basis of victory. It's not just because you fasted or prayed. Fasting does not change God. It changes you. It's faith that moves God. I fast and pray, but your fasting doesn't do anything to God. It positions you to release your faith for results. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? The legal basis is that the blood of Jesus speaketh better things. Not just than the blood of Cain and Abel, but every other ordinance. The Bible says blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against us. He nailed it to the cross. It's passed. But Satan will refuse until you enforce it by the authority of the Lord Jesus. And this is our job tonight. We have not come to do any new thing. This is what I want to teach you. There's nothing tonight that we are doing that is new. We are only going back to tap the reality from Calvary and make it a present tense reality. This is the Balas gospel of redemption. And one of the greatest persons that has affected my life is the general of God. I cried when he went to be with the Lord. T.L. Osborne. He was one man that demonstrated the reality of the kingdom more than any man I know. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Joblessness, barrenness, delay, stagnation, mental blockage, sicknesses, you name it. We now know the devil that is in charge. But the Bible says for this purpose, God organized koinonia meeting tonight for this purpose that he will annihilate. I vowed unto God, I said, I will never pastor or lead any ministry where there is no demonstration of the superiority of light over darkness. I won't come and teach people about the God who was and say, I remember in 2001, somebody was healed. What is he doing today? Jesus Christ the same yesterday. 
the same January miracle service, the same February miracle service. I bring you good news tonight. The Lord is in the house and is here with his full authority. And how nice it is that today is Good Friday. He went about doing good on a Good Friday. He went about doing today is not called Bad Friday. It's called Good Friday. Rise up on your feet and let's charge ourselves in the spirit for a few minutes. Walk around in the next five minutes and begin to prophesy inside and outside. Come on. Come on, walk around and begin to declare. Satan is behind every sickness, every infirmity. Satan is behind poverty. He's behind delays. But today, by the finished work, that is in the name of the Lord Jesus. There will be victory tonight. Rapa kata la basata. Ma prakata pragedeba. Rapa ta prakese pragede. Rakata baladaba. Make sure you're praying. Rapo sho prakete lekoto. Hallelujah. Now listen. Those of you inside and outside, we just have one minute to pray. I like you to pray like a priest. You're going to say, you're going to pray for yourself and your family and say, Satan, now I know you are responsible and you are going to get out of my life, my family, my finance, my marriage. Lift your voice and begin to pray. <laughs> You appear as coming out disease, but you are a devil of darkness. You appear as delay, but you are a devil of darkness. You appear as worriness, but you are a devil of darkness, joblessness. Whatever tree has not been planted by our Father, that tree will be uprooted. Pray. Say tonight is my night of deliverance. It's my night of healing. It's my night of emancipation. Enough is enough. Hallelujah. Now look up, please. Everyone look up. So, through territorial influences, Satan can gain grounds over a man's life, although he's born again. The second way Satan gets to influence people is through what I call strongholds of the mind. That's why the Bible says the moment you get born again, the next assignment is to begin to renew your mind. Because look at me, your mindset is like a door in the realm of the spirit. It can allow the activities of heaven. It can allow the activities of demons. Are you listening to me? So, because of wrong teachings or our society, we have had mindsets that have become strongholds, permanent gateways. So, even when you pray and minister healing and deliverance, what happens? The Bible says, when a demon leaves a man, because it is now, it does not have a material body to find expression. It becomes uneasy. After a while, what happens? It says, since I've been legally casted, let me now use the mind. And it comes back to check the man. He finds the house swept, clean, but empty. You have not filled yourself with the word. And it gathers seven other demons more than itself. And it comes back to the man. Listen. This is the problem I have with many deliverance houses. They don't concentrate on people getting born again. They don't concentrate on people receiving the word. They just concentrate on casting out devils. So they now cast out devils. Are you listening to me? In a lady who probably does not believe that sex before marriage is wrong. That's a mindset. It has become a stronghold. Is that correct? So the demons will leave. But her mindset will bring them back. Listen. When believers are set free, they must keep their healing. They must keep their breakthrough by doing what building fortification that's why we spend three weeks teaching the word so that when you are set free when you are delivered what happened the word of god builds fortification in you that kind of mindset deliverance is by the word so he sends forth his word and his word heals your mind and delivers you it's not enough just to come for miracle service 
it's important to participate in all of the services because as we teach what happens you build fortification in the spirit then you get to a point like jesus where satan will come and will not find anything of himself then you now become a deliverer to others he said upon mount zion there shall be deliverance and holiness and the children of jacob shall possess their possession but not until there is a deliverance upon mount zion there shall be deliverance and a spirit of holiness and then what happens people will begin to possess their possessions tonight satan will return some things he stole ah because the bible says when you catch a thief it's in leviticus when you catch a thief he will say i'm sorry no they didn't hear i'm sorry he will restore sevenfold sevenfold is the minimum hallelujah how many of us are ready to take back some things i'm reaping the harvest god promised me take back what the devil stole from me and i rejoice today for i shall recover it all yes i rejoice today hallelujah now before i begin to minister in the anointing we're going to pray one prayer i want you to be honest and open tonight listen listen we're a family i truly prayed and cried and wanted you to be free listen you're going to say lord if there is any force of darkness at work in my mind or my life listen or my family i open myself tonight let tonight be a separation between me and egypt forever i must move forward you must humble yourself and pray are you listening to me open your mouth and pray everyone those outside pray the Holy Ghost is everywhere. Tapara tapara tire. Time up, Satan, over the lives and the destinies of people. We announce an expiry date for you, which is right now. Tonight is Good Friday. Over our lives, Jesus said it is finished. We believe it. Jesus said it is finished. Oh, hallelujah, he's really. I'm excited, I'm excited. Someone is walking free tonight. I tell you, a door is open tonight. Pray. Pray. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's a shout of the king in this house. Come on, help me. You don't know this song. There's a great anointing working. For the spirit of the Lord is king. Spirit of the way. Now I see the angels of the living God. Please, everybody stand. Everybody stand. And when Jesus saw, oh yes, oh yes, gates will be lifted. Ancient doors. 
inside and outside let your faith reach out now let your faith reach out now hallelujah hallelujah now listen we are going to shout just a shout listen just a shout once my god kabata kaya kapra dele kaya embrosa ta prata dadaba rakata prosata li bariata de kaya kabam prastaya i want all the people out ushers please be effective listen just one shout i like you to shout it with all your heart i tell you the truth devils will be shaken from their foundation are you listening to me no power of darkness will stand the fire power that is in the name of jesus are you ready now all the instruments together in the hebrew we call this tehila it's a shout of praise are you ready to shout after the count of three one two three inside and outside now according to the unction and he gave us power i speak to you inside outside territorial spirit i confront you at the count of three you will go you will go i see a mighty deliverance in this row one two three go 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 Go, 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 Bring them out. No devil stands. Bring them out. Outside. 
all of you lift your hands for there will be a move of the spirit outside 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 in the name of the Lord Jesus every power afflicting any life outside by the fire of the Lord be exposed now be exposed now be exposed the fire of the Lord outside the fire of his presence be exposed outside no demon stands every affliction go outside 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 the power of God is falling outside the power of God is falling I see angels 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 move across the crowd come out of her out of her now in the name of Jesus fire upon you now in the name of Jesus fire upon you fire upon you come out of her now in the name of the Lord Jesus let her go, 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 go Out of her right now Out of her, out of her Come out, come out of her Come out of her Out of her, come out of her, out of her. Out of her now Thou foul devil I see a snake, out of her Come out, fire upon you Fire upon you Fire upon you Come out of us. Come out. must open up. Are you listening to me? I said your destiny must open up. Therefore every power I speak by an apostolic unction. Every demonic force. 
you are going to shout Jesus once and the power of God will move across my God let your fire move are you ready those outside one two three Come out, 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 Come out of her! Come out of her now! Come out of her! Come out of her! Come out of her! Come out! Come out! Come out! Come out in the name of Jesus! Out of her! Bring them in! Bring them in! Bring that lady. Bring her, bring her. Just look, look at me. Bring her. Come out of her. Out, out, out. Come out. Now, by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Out. Come out of her. In the name of Jesus. Bring that little girl. Look at a, hold on. Look at a girl. Look at this girl. At this age, look at this little girl. Bring her, please. Shall the captives be taken from the mighty? Come out of her. Out. Out of her now. Out. Out. In the name of Jesus, I bring you the powers of the kingdom. Come out. You shall stay no longer in her life. Take your place. Yeah. Take your place. Your time is up. Thou foul devil. Out of her right now. Fire upon you. Come out right now. Come out right now. Out of her. Come out of her. Come out in the name of Jesus. Take your place. Yeah. Take your place. Take your place. Fire all over this body. Leave her in the name of Jesus. Come out. Come out. Fire upon you now. Fire upon you now. Fire upon you now. Your time in this body is up. Please help me with water. The devil put something. Hold on. You will see this lady now and think what she has in her body is a growth. But it's not a Look at. Look at. I'm using this as an example to teach you something. Take what you have put in her life and go now. Go! In the name of Jesus. Out of her now. Out of her now. Out. Out in the name of Jesus. It's time for her destiny to go. Come out by the fiery power. Jesus is Lord over every walk of darkness. They know not, neither do they understand. Excuse me. Lady, look at me. I command you to look at me right now. I'm not speaking to her, I'm speaking to the spirit. He's seeing me. Look at me right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command that foul devil in the mighty name of Jesus Christ by the fire of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, just lay your hands on her back. 
Lay your hands on her back. Now I command you, come and meet me here. Quickly, come and meet me here. In the name of Jesus, leave that place and come quickly. I'm speaking to that foul spirit. Get up right now and come. It's a time of salvation. In the name of Jesus. Since you will not come, hello, I bring you under the influence of the Holy Ghost. Now come here. Holy Ghost, bring her by yourself. Show the superiority of kingdom authority. Kapadia, the pro sosoba, rabate, liver, liver, liver. Nobody should hold her. Come by the power of the Holy Ghost. Many of you do not know how powerful the Holy Spirit is. You will come. Is an instruction in the realm of the Spirit. Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies come. Run right now. Get up and run and come here. By the power that is in the name of Jesus Christ. No devil stops it. Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies I said come and meet me here don't stay there it's time for the lady to go someone has someone has a problem one ear you feel like there's water you practically cannot hear very well with it who is that person who is that person? One ear, you feel like there's water or something. Please, who is that inside or outside? Hurry up, come quickly. You, which of them? It will be open right now. Put your hands there. As I command that deaf and dumb spirit to go. In the name of Jesus, let her go now. Go! Be healed. Mama, salvation has come for you right now. Which of the ears? This one, put your hands there. That devil is a liar. No, just put a finger inside. Go! Go! Come out! Come out of her! Come out of her right now. You are a deaf and dumb spirit. In the name of Jesus, let her go. Go! Go! I set you free. Check it. Check it. Someone check her. What do you feel? No, no, really. I'm free. Look at. My water there again. Look at. Instant miracle. Come. What happened, Mama? What? Look at me. What used to happen before? I'm not. Uh, before I used to feel as if there is water inside. Sometimes I'll be hearing something. Uh, Waka inside. But now. Not Look at this. And Jesus casted the devil and the dumb spirit. This is Acts of the Apostles. The Bible says Jesus is the same. Yes? This is an elderly woman. She can't come and stand before you and be telling lies. Madam, you are free forever. What's wrong with her? Both ears? She had moms. So it affected she had her what? moms on her left ear. Moms. So it affected Bond. both. Can she, she can't hear me now. She can't hear the two ears. Put your hands in her ears. Jesus, our deaf and dumb spirit, I curse you over this girl. I curse you over this life right now. of the Lord Jesus. Your reign is gone in the name of Jesus. Someone test me. There's someone. Come, sister, you. Yes, come. I'm seeing something wrong with your stomach. Lay your hands there. Look at me. Look at me. 
he will be free right now. I bring you life, I bring you healing and perfection in the name of Jesus. Now, all those with any heart conditions, all those with any heart conditions, heart condition of whatever kind, please come out quickly. Just leave these people in front here. Just leave them. Just shift this poop in the bit. And... Heart condition. Okay. Your ear. Both of them. Both ears. Look at me. Ah, the power of God is going to you. Come out of him now. Thou foul devil. I open your ears. Check him. Check him. Do what you couldn't do. Check him. Please let the ministers do it. Heart problem. Heart problem. Please. Can you shift this? I'm not afraid. Can you just step up here, all of you? Please, quickly, quickly. I don't want to step. Heart problems. I'm feeling pains here. Look up, look up, please. Who has pains here? Is this my right or left? This left. Someone is having a sharp pain because I'm having the same pain. Yeah, come. Hold on, hold on. I'll pray for you. And heart problem. What of your waist that pains you? You didn't come out for it, but you will go. Leave her now. Come out of her. Come out now in the name of Jesus Christ. Pack your load. Say it and pack your load. You remember that song? You Buddhists sing it. All right, let's not sing it. Spirit, I will sing Janet's songs. Out of her in the name of Jesus Christ. Mambro so preteke paria. I represent the government of heaven and I bring you the life of that government. Go, go, go in the name of Jesus Christ. Go, go, go. Check yourself now. Check yourself. It's gone. Please help me with the mic. Completely gone. What used to happen? Hold on. What used to happen to you? You used to feel pains. When you came in, you were feeling pains. You see that? The enemy has done this. You are free forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Come, my brother. What is this pain that I see here? What happened? I said, what happened? But the pain just started yesterday. But you are not serious with God now. You see, the pain will keep coming. Eh? You are not even born again. When I make altar call, before I, I finish, just run and come and wait here. Eh? But for now, Jesus will heal you because he's a God of love. You believe that? Out of him now. Come out in the name of Jesus. Foul devil. Let him go. In the name of Jesus. Go, go. Out. Come out of him. Come. My sister. Who is Necker? Who do you know called Neka? I'm hearing a name Neka. Hallelujah. What's wrong with you? Your heart. What happens? It used to pain me. It used to pain you. What do you mean it used to pain you? Just like how sharp pain on me. Sharp pain? Yes. How long? Is your sister? Okay, lay your hands there. For like three months now. Okay, look at me. Open your eyes. Just look at my eyes. Just look at my eyes. Come out of her, devil of darkness. You are free. Sister, sister, just look at my eyes. Just look at my eyes. Just look at my eyes. For light cannot stand darkness. You are a foul spirit. I've seen you in the spirit. Out of her now. Come out of her in the name of Jesus Christ. Now. In the 
name of the Lord Jesus Christ. My dear, you are free in the name of Jesus Christ. Please, as I pray for you, go back to your seat quickly. No, 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 no. How can you go? I'm not done in the name of Jesus Christ. Put your hands on her stomach. All right, go. Go! You see something for me like a growth. You must go. They call it a growth. The life that sponsors this growth, you will go right now. With a loud shout. That's what the Lord tells me. You will go with a loud shout. Now! Your two brothers, uh, they, where are they? They're in the village. What's wrong with them? They don't hear well. They are stubborn or they don't no, hear well? They are yes. Okay, they are yes. yes. Can we agree for them? Yes. What's their name? Tony and Ima. Tony and Ima. In the name of Jesus, for ah, you two, you need help now, madam. Let's start with you first. Huh? In the name of Jesus Christ. Please put your hands on your stomach. Let that pain go. And then for your two brothers, the Lord perfects them. In the name of Jesus Christ. When I lay hands on you, you will be healed. Don't worry. It doesn't mean I have to cast out a demon. See, manifestation is not a sign that demons are in you or they are going out. Faith in the word of God is... Brother, you are not very fine, no, Mr. Man. In Jesus' name. The ministers are going to come up and we'll start ministering to people in mass. What's wrong? Steal the heart. Go! Come out of him. Come out of him right now. Out of him. Out! In the name of Jesus. What's wrong with you? Take him outside. He's going to cough something. Quickly. No coughing inside corner of the auditorium. Please take him outside quickly. He will go by the influence of the spirit. So he's going to run. Hold him. He's going to run by the influence of the spirit. Okay, I'll pray for you. Huh? Jesus' name. That pain leaves you forever. In Jesus' name. Sister, come. What's your name? Jane. Jane. Where are you from? My state of origin, Benue. Because the same way you are dressed, that's the same way I'm seeing you in the spirit, but the only thing is your face is covered. Are you listening to me? What the Lord will set you free. What did you come for? I used to have a heart problem each time I have anything in my mind. What of the movements around your body? Something is moving around your body. Affect my life, freedom. Free. 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 You can't hide in her. Come out in the name of Jesus. And set this lady free. You're free. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. What's wrong with you? Anytime I get angry. Anytime you get angry. You know what's wrong with you? But you want God to help you, right? See, this lady is so desirous of help. Because I see the spirit of anger. You can carry bottle and kill somebody with it. Is that true? You want to be set free from it? Look at my eyes. I've seen you now in the spirit. Come out! Come out! Out of her! Come out of her right now. Foul spirit of wickedness. In the name of Jesus. 
this is a very nice girl look. this is a very nice girl but when that spirit comes she can break this bottle and tear your head with it you must go I'm seeing a snake. This is the spirit of lust. Come out. Leave her alone. Just leave her. Come out. I see that spirit. It's a snake. This is what I'm seeing. You must leave her right now. Out of her. Out of her. See, you don't need to think about Satan. You just need to get him out of the way and build your life with the word of God. I set you free. Right now, no more anger. Look at me. You are not free yet. Just look at my eyes. In Jesus' name, you are free. Leave her. You are free. She is free. My dear, no more anger. You will serve the Lord all your days. Okay, God bless you. Heart. In the name of Jesus, be healed. Be healed right now of that heart. Bro. you must leave. You've tormented this girl for a long time. Out of her right now. In Jesus name. You must go out. Come out. Your exodus out of her life. With a loud shout. I instruct you to leave now. At the count of three. One. Two. Three. Now, now, now. Out. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name. I set you free. Set you free. for altar call before I finish just run and come and stand huh you you know what I'm saying right it makes sense to you huh you're not gone you must go I see you in the spirit go come out of her be silent speak no word go out
What did you put in her stomach? Take it and go out. Take it. Remove what you put in her stomach. I see it now. Remove what you put in her stomach and go out. I said remove it. Take it out now. Foul devil of darkness. Jesus set you free. You're free now. In Jesus' name. Levi. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Just look at my eyes. I said, look at my eyes. This is the instruction. I see like claws holding this lady. Now, go. In peace. And I mean it. Take it away and go. Set her free right now. Jesus' name. Stand up. Don't feel embarrassed. Don't worry. Don't worry. Just stand up. My brother, like I said, what do you say is wrong with you? You have all these things now. When you are doing all the things you are doing, you know what I'm saying, right? Does it make sense to you? Abba. Nka shower, nka shower. Your body will not leave you now. This is your problem. You know what I'm saying, right? Ever since before you started, what happened? Who led you into taking it? Tell me the truth. You can't hide it. I've seen it. I mean myself. You started by yourself. Yes. Since when? Since 1998. The Lord sets you free. Break you free from that addiction. When I make the altar call, just run and come. God will give you a new beginning and you will be a great man. what? Hepatitis. Hepatitis. Yes, sir. B. C. C. Yes, sir. Who diagnosed it? In the hospital. You'll be free from it. Amen. You believe that? Yes, sir. You believe that? Yes, sir. Shepa karata poko sofre teke balata bonda. Mabrati kapos kosi brehishti. Free. Jesus. 
Come, it's your time to go out. Oh, yeah. Sir King Salama. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. No, you don't need to force her. This is authority. I'm not speaking by myself. So I can't use my strength. Once you use your strength, the strength of God is of no effect. This is God speaking. Look at my eyes. Quick, look at my eyes. the authority of Jesus go go now at the count of three quietly let her go you're hearing me one this is good Friday two <laughs> three or I go quietly quietly you must leave I've given the command I've given the command you will go out out you go that's it bye bye find someone else somewhere No, it's going. It's going. There's no stopping. The word has been spoken. Sister, come. No, this lady with blue will be green. That's it. Leave her. She's free. Oh, no, no, no. Hold on. It's a terrible spirit. Hold on. It doesn't leave until she's turned with her back. This is crazy. Whatever this means. All right, turn your back and go. Say terrible thing. Back. Whatever that means. I'm not a herbalist for God's sake. You heard me. Turn your back now and leave. He cannot leave until she's on her back. I said turn your back and go out now. You are a foul spirit. No. Don't worry. Don't worry. Just leave her. Just leave her. Turn your back. You will lie on your back and it will go. That's right. He's bringing everything. When she lies on her back, he's going quietly. I don't understand some of these things. We are still learning. So you lie and go. There's an angel standing close to her. That's why I told you people don't bother. Now, we are going to minister. We will have to hurry up. If you brought somebody who is sick, please come out here quickly. The ministers are going to lay hands upon you, but bring this lady for me. All right, your time is up. Go. That's it. She's free. Stand up. Stand up. Please, can I have the water again? My sister, come. Well done. You will live your life serving the Lord. Look at me. Look at me. Where else did you put this kind of thing? Look at me. Look at me. Where else do you have this kind of thing? This is what attracts the wrong men to you. You don't even know. Mindsets. All right, that's all. Look at me. Touch my hands. Just touch my hands. You know what you are seeing. I'm speaking to the spirit, not you. I'm speaking to the spirit. Touch my hands. 
Go ahead, touch my hands. The hands of Jesus. I bring you life. You may leave her now. Upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance. With a loud shout, you are going. This is what the Lord. Go. In Jesus' name. For how can you walk when you don't know the way of the way? How can you when you don't know the way of the Spirit? How can you fly like eagles when you don't know the way? Are these the only sick people? Please, every other sick person, come and join them quickly. While that is happening, pass your prayer request quickly. Outside, please pass it to the last person at the side. Let's do that quickly. All the sick people, please come quickly. Swallow your pride tonight. Come to the school of the sleep. Please come and lie down. Sass, Jake, please. Please come and stand here. Get set to be healed. This is not trial and error. While that is happening, everyone, please pass your, your prayer point. Swallow your pride. Listen, as hands come upon you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you will be perfected. Pastor Sam. Hallelujah. Now we'll start praying for you. Whatever the case is, I've waited for when I'll pray for you. Come and stand. You come. It's time for your salvation. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Give her now. Go. You're free. Next. Please, quickly. Whatever is wrong with you, as hands are laid upon you, that's it. Be healed. Be healed. Every sickness. Peptic ulcer. Who is the person? Peptic ulcer. Peptic ulcer. Come. Be set free from anything. Anything wrong with you. Come out. Leave her. Go. Go. Set her free right now. Go. Go. You're a foul spirit. I've seen you. Go. What's wrong with her? Okay. What did I say? Peptic ulcer. Fire upon you right now. Quietly go. Peptic ulcer, you come. Come out of her. Come out now. You have caused a lot of delay in her life. This is out, out, you're a wicked spirit. Come out, I've seen you. Out. You said she will not marry, she wouldn't do anything. It's, it's a time of deliverance. Out of her. Come out now. Come out now. I set you free. I open doors of blessings to your life. Please, quickly. What's wrong with them? Yahweh
Come, your salvation has come. It's your time to smile. Run and come. I say, run. Look at what she's doing. But those of restoration and prosperity. You have cried. 
this lady loves the Lord, but she has suffered. You have seen, you have suffered. Aha. I'm seeing a cake, and it's a wedding cake. This is what the Lord shows me. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I release you in Jesus. Where's the lady I asked her to come? Where's the lady? Sister, look at me. Start rejoicing because of the good. No, I didn't say dance here. The good things that will happen in your life will be surprised. Look at me because you have suffered. God brought you here to bless you. If I were you, I will find the person that invited me and take him out for lunch. Go! Go! It's a time. That's it. Step into your blessings in the name of Jesus. Come on, celebrate Jesus. Yes, Lord, you are the king. request please bring them out quickly if you didn't write those on facebook and all our members please if we cannot have it no problem hold on there are two ladies please don't be ashamed okay the lord asked me to call out the case don't be ashamed okay three people you are suffering from is a bedwetting issue. See, we're a family. Do we all agree we're a family? There's no need. There's no okay. You are suffering from this is a serious issue. Please come. This is a serious issue. There's no hiding, and this is uh, please. We are very serious. Because God will set you free. That's why. We're a family of faith. There's no this is miracle service. This is not a conference. It's a miracle service. Hallelujah. Please take away her bag for a while. Sister, look at my eyes. Just look at me. expose you foul spirit of darkness now but wedding stops forever it's a spirit she has a dream this is i'm seeing the dream that this lady has now she has a dream they are pouring water and she's standing there later the water becomes a bathroom and she wakes up and sees you will look and think she's an irresponsible lady some of you who will not keep your mouth in one place you like talking about people See, judge not. The spirit of Christ is the spirit of love. When you see your brother in a child, help the person. Don't be the one carrying your big mouth from left to right. When you yourself are not free. Hallelujah. Don't be judgmental and cynical. Let's, let's give our brethren room to find security. Koinonia is not a church. This is an apostolic center where God is setting people free. On Sunday, you can go to your church. This is not a church. It's not a prayer house. It's a place where Jesus dwells and is doing wonders. Sister, I set you free in the name of Jesus. Hold on, because I'm still going to pray for her. She came from just God is going to use her. All of you standing here, don't be afraid, don't be ashamed. God will set you free right now. God is helping you, but you need a kingdom mindset. Mindset. Look at me. Just look at my eyes. Foul devil. Go! Even the lawful captives. Even the lawful captives. Even the lawful captives. I'm speaking to you. Even the lawful captives. Even the lawful captives. Aha! Come out of her! Now, I've seen you. Come out of her. Foul spirit. Fire upon this body right now from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. 
In the name of Jesus Christ, you are a wicked spirit. Go. In the name of Jesus. Now, see. Out of her, what is this that you are putting in her stomach? You will remove it. Remove it now. I said remove it. I'm seeing it. I see something like a band. Remove it. Take it away. Remove it. Let everybody see. I said remove it now in the name of Jesus. Our foul devil. No. No. Just quietly come out. Honestly, don't disturb us in this place. Go out, please. Go out in Jesus' name right now. This thing happened to your father. This thing is happening to your loved ones. What is this around your waist? This is what I'm saying. Come out! You are a wicked spirit. Out! Spirit of lust. Aha! Out! Come out of her right now. You are a wicked spirit. Look at, look at this. Come out! What did Kaparakata Grento Satilaka Repatarita Rabaka Batoso Pregete Rekata Pariata by the fire power of the spirit? Many of you will find out that your spiritual life will take a new dimension. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Now you will begin to understand the word. But don't judge others. Because with this spiritual insight now, you will be looking at people and be seeing how oppressed people are. It should create love in you. The true spirit of Christ will reveal the character of Jesus. Are you listening to me? Hold my hands with both of your hands. As tight as you can. First bank had a song. He said, what is the song? Man pass man. Bank pass bank. Jesus pass demons. Is that not a good one? Compose your own. Now you must go. Out of her. Right now. Even aside from standing in, I need to pray for you. You're a good usher, so you will feel. Come out of her! Out of her in the name of Jesus Christ. Hold my hands. Hold my hands. Look at your own hands shaking. What is this? Watch. From today, just look at it. This is demonic. This is nonsense. Huh? And I am come that ye may have life. I pray that when some of you begin ministry, you will bring Jesus alive to the scene. You won't let men just doubt whether Jesus is Lord. What is happening to you? Spinning me. Jesus said. It is the thief that comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Please hang on because I'm going to prophesy. This is the best part of the session where I begin to speak to people. But first, let's play on this request. Sas, please can wake up. All of you stretch your hands inside and outside. Please stretch your hands on your request. you in the spirit. Hapa, rata, rakata, parekete ke parata posoto, rabandeke parika, ratosko petalia, regete ke teke teke de belereba, rapatosko prenda, raposko par, reteke teke telekete, rebako paratosko pa, rapaskia, fire upon you right now, fire upon you right now, fire upon you right now, fire upon you right now. 
Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Out of her. Come out. She loves the Lord, but you will not oppress her. Come out. This, this is what has been responded. Come out. Fire upon you right now. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. You must go. Oh, yes, you must. Go, I've not finished with you. Go. 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 In the name of Jesus, I challenge you. I'm seeing an altar. I set it on fire. I told you Satan likes bodies. They won't go. It takes the power of the spirit. Go, 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 go. Go. Please be praying on the request. Don't let's save time. Go. Go. In the name of Jesus. For with authority commanded he devils and he obeyed. At the count of three, your time of exit is come. This is Good Friday. One, two, three. Go. Jesus name go go in Jesus name With a loud shout, come out of her now. Come out of her now. Come out. Come out. In Jesus' name. She's free. Stand up. Where's the other lady that was here? There was a lady here, right? Sweetheart, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Please, when people stand up like this, show them love, help them. Don't just stand and be looking at them. Someone was standing here. Come, my dear. You are going to begin a journey with the Holy Spirit. God has set you free. I'm going to impart an anointing upon you. There's, there's still impartation coming in okay it's not all about deliverance there's you need grace all right you have finished with satan so you need to have something my dear god will do great things through your life you may look weak in yourself but when he overshadows you that which will be born of you will be called the holy thing hallelujah lift your hands look at me my god there is no man who is able to separate. The Bible says, when they all gathered in prayer and fasting, the Holy Ghost said unto them, separate me, Paul and Barnabas. Lord Jesus, place your hands upon her by yourself and separate her. I separate you right now to the dealings of the Spirit. I open you up to visions. I open you up to spiritual experiences. Receive the fire right now. Receive it right now. Thank you, Jesus. An angel is pouring oil upon you right now. This is what is happening to you. Upon your hands and your head and your chest. Let the oil come. Thank you, Jesus. Let's stretch our hands, everyone. Please stretch your hands. Go ahead and begin to pray now. Please, for your loved ones, say, Lord, every request here, those outside, everywhere, stretch your hands towards this. Stretch your hands towards your screen. In the name of Jesus, Lord, miracles. Release miracles in the name of Jesus.
in the name of Jesus. Lord, by your great power, thy enemy submitted. All the requests here, and even those who are online, Father, by your power, by the power of your spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ, and answer prayer. Answer prayer. Let there be miracles. Let there be miracles. Miracles. Doors open. Miracle babies for our loved ones. Miracle marriages. Open door. Finances open. In the name of Jesus. Reconciliation to home that are broken. In the name of Jesus. Miracles. 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 Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Celebrate Jesus. Now, I want to pray for everybody right now. Please don't miss this part. This is where the Lord separates men unto great things. Many of you do not know the power of prophecy. It's not to say you are wearing this. Come. Look at my eyes. Look at me. Look at me. Just look at me. Look at me. Just look at me. I expose darkness. Go! In the name of Jesus. I truly want to pray for you from the depth of my heart. Don't miss this part. He sent forth his word. Whenever a prophetic word is about coming to your life, listen, this is where God picks men into miracles, be it financial, be it whatever. I don't do these things because I'm a man of God. I do these things as I am moved by the Spirit. Whether you are inside or outside, even if no one can see you, i like you to lift your hands and where you need to shout amen, shout it! With all that you have. Lift your hands. Something will happen in this place right now. For he never sends us alone. He leaves us a witness. Jesus. I want to impart gifts. Anointings. Graces. Help me instrumentalists. At the count of three, I'll begin to release them in mass, everywhere, inside and outside. It's time for you to step up spiritually. I come in the name of the Lord. Lift your hands. Father, confirm your word. No, you don't need to bring them out. You don't need to bring them out now. This is impartation. In the name of Jesus, lift your hands now. Come on, Babaratata. Shout Jesus just once. One to go. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take the fire. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. I release gifts. Gifts of prophecy. Gifts of healing. Receive it. Take it, take it, take it, take it. I activate your spirit man. I activate your sense. Share in the spirit. See in the spirit. Perceive spiritual things. Baba Rata, Rababa, Robosha, Rekea, Reko Shata, Rabaria, Paros, Korekata, Mabeto Sodia, Rekete Lekete. Receive it, receive it, receive it, take it, take it. Now the fire of the Holy Ghost is coming. Listen. Just leave them, just leave them. It's not a crime for them to drop a seat. Just to do it. Listen, the fire of God is going to mantle some of you. And this will take you to a new level 
of Christian experience. Not everybody. Lift your hands. For some hungry people, oh God, I see cloven tongues of fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, thou power of the Holy Ghost, move, move, move. Fire, fire. Let it come like rain. Prophetic experiences. Take it. Outside. Take it. Take it. Hallelujah. I want to pray for favor. Favor. Oh, how we need it. Favor. It will come strong on some people. I tell you, it will hit some of you in a way that you cannot recover from. My Lord, in the name of Jesus, favor anointing, fall, 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 Favor, favor, favor. Let it hit you. Let it hit you like tornado where you are, like a fireboat. Aparata kaba, vaka prata rata. Take 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 I want to prophesy breakthrough. 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 Many of you don't know what breakthrough is. Brother, come. God will do mighty things with you. Lift your hands. God, use him mightily. Take it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You will not be the same again. Lift your hands. The breakthrough anointing. Haya. The Lord is showing me doors. Kenneth, the breakthrough anointing is coming on you. Take it now in the name of Jesus. Lift your hands. I like you to shout, I receive just once. It will hit some of you. Shout, I receive just once. One to go. Take it. Take it. Take it, take it, the breakthrough anointing. I command doors be open. Doors be open. Miracle jobs, marriages, barren women receive, barren women receive all kinds of breakthrough. I pray for your finances within the next 30 days many of you don't know what the anointing of the spirit I'm not ministering as Joshua Selman don't be foolish within the next 30 days Lord confirm your word if you have sent me let the fire come listen this is what I'm doing I pick you from where you are financially I place you in a prophetic position. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it for your families. Miracle calls. Miracle connections. Miracle connection. Miracle call. Miracle connection. Miracle calls. Miracle connections. Miracle calls. family under any yoke of bondage I don't care what it is from this night 
I set you free. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Any building project that your parents are in, in the name of Jesus, within the next seven days, let the finance to continue it. I put it prophetically upon your hands. In the name of Jesus. Blessed Jesus. Thank you. For you and for your loved ones who need jobs. I call April a month where you will experience turn around. The Bible says, and Abraham was old and stricken in age, and the Lord had blessed him in all things. I prophesy that anointing all round. For your academics receive grace. For your academics receive grace. Grace to be the best. Grace to excel. You are not dull. I call you brilliant. I call you blessed. I call you blessed. I speak to your exams. I speak to your papers. I speak to last semester's result. I call it excellence. Distinction. Where you made mistakes, we correct it in the realm of the spirit. In the name of Jesus, I plead the blood upon your papers. Let it speak better than the blood of Abel. For final year students, we graduate you in this place right now. Believe me, believe, believe. Don't be doubters. I know you have challenges. I'm not speaking as a man. For as many who can believe, we release you in the name of Jesus. Let policies change in your department. Let them change in your faculty. Every satanic molestation over your life, over your dreams, in the name of Jesus. I put a seal of the blood because Christ died. No devil can access your life again. In the name of Jesus. I command you increase. Multiply. Advance. Move forward. I break you free from habits. Any habit you have been struggling with. Any habit. The Bible says every tree that has not been planted by our Father shall be uprooted. I uproot it tonight. The Lord still tells me prophesy on their finances. Listen. 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 We are rounding up. I don't do this all the time. But please everybody, package a seed. I want to pray for your finance. If you don't believe it, just leave it. Just package a seed. I want to do something that will shake your finances. Please. Who needs one person? Please, this is not about money. You know us here in this place. Package a seed. I want to. Please, package something that will touch you. We don't teach you error here, brothers and sisters. This is not about money. We're a blessed ministry. Please do it. For yourself, some of you for your family. Just package something that will cost you and lift it up. This is not some spiritual jamboree. You will watch what will happen. Lift it up, please. Lift it up. Honestly, from your heart. If you don't believe what I'm doing, please put back your seed. Just lift it up, inside and outside. Please, if you can help your neighbor, it will be the best thing you would have done. If you can help your neighbor. Don't make foolish decisions, please. Your common sense is still with you. But I'd like you to do something that will, will challenge poverty in your life. Please just play the string for me. Many of you do not know. The, we don't neglect spiritual principles. We only put them in place. Honestly. Honestly. Hear me. If God is God and we are serving him truly, something will happen to your finances that will surprise you. Some of you are standing in for your families. You just hold on and see. I have tried this thing. It has worked. Many of you, as you are holding it, you will see what will happen to you before you drop. Lift it up. Jesus. I didn't call myself, oh Lord, you called me. To bless your people, to lift your, please lift it. For yourself and family. 
Hold, just hold it. Just hold it. Just keep it hold. Keep it. Some of you are under financial curses for your family. Just keep it up. That's what I want to break. A sacrifice brought that cause. Let a sacrifice take it out. Go. 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 I break the curse. Go. 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 Lift it up. Go. Go. I break the curse. Go. It's a curse. It's a curse upon individuals and families. Lift it up. Make sure you package something that will touch you. I break it. It took sacrifice to bring the curse. Lord, we lift this sacrifice like that of Abel. I terminate poverty. You are a spirit. Go. Bakareka. Rekepa. Raposata. I create a sound of abundance in the spirit. I give your seed a voice in the realm of the spirit. I speak against altars of darkness that keep families in bondage. Go! Go! I set them on fire. Pareta ka kaparoto pretelika. Father, these hands that are lifted, please, even if you don't have a seed, just lay your hands on someone's hand who has a seed and lift it. Father, as a house in Koinonia, Lord, you cannot give me people to lead and you are blessing us as a house and it's not showing in their lives. Let everyone who identifies with this ministry, I prophesy the same oil of inexplainable but undeniable prosperity I release it upon your life right now I release it upon your life right now creativity beyond your imagination visions of ideas destiny help us for your family members those who need jobs take jobs those who need business ideas receive it those whose business are dying I resurrect it back. I put the life of God into it. Let the dry bones come alive. I speak to this seed. Lord, this will not be the last seed they will give. But may this be the least you will give. Because of the degree of abundance. Ushers, quickly. Yeah. I wish many of you can see what is happening in the realm of the spirit. All our services are powerful. It's just that the miracle service is a special service. Quickly, quickly. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your presence. We're soon rounding up. Just hold on. Do you know part of the reasons why? Hold on. Part of the reasons why people don't wait except they have something serious do you know part of the major reasons why people don't wait for meetings like this is because of demonic activities they keep making them uncomfortable and they leave because of certain blessings listen not every man of god is out to destroy you god sends people to lift you i promise you you will never be the same hallelujah now it's not just enough to be prayed for to be healed to be released you must grow in the world i can't tell you this enough there are many of you who only come for miracle services because you want you won't grow that way you must be taught the word subject yourself to the teaching of the word the bible says i commend you to the word of his grace which is able to keep you and to give you an inheritance he said, according as his divine power hath given us all things that pertains unto life and godliness. How? Through the knowledge of him who has called us into glory and virtue. The next verse says, wherefore has he given us these exceedingly great and precious promises that by them we might become the partakers of his divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in this world through loss. Subject yourself to the word. You must be taught the word. You must grow. 
there's no shortcut to greatness there's no shortcut to the anointing and to the presence of God everyone please stand up right now I'm inviting those who I don't need to do any special cajoling all those people that I told them it's time to get born again now it's your time to run out and come out here everyone who wants to give his life to Jesus Christ or you have once given your heart to the Lord and you've run and this is stand please you are not coming to me hallelujah inside and outside Jesus loves you now is the time of salvation we do not condemn you leave your seat and come if you've given your heart to the Lord and you found yourself derailing no problem just come outside there are a number of you outside God is calling you leave your friend come thank you Jesus Koinonia celebrate them this is the biggest miracle come God bless you bless you sister bless you my brother don't stop God bless you you need Jesus is the fountain of life He's the one we represent here He's the one we exalt there is only one name not any man of God not Bishop Stan not Pastor Jakes not Joshua Selman Jesus and him alone I sense that there are still some of you that are waiting behind Jesus is calling you Jesus is calling you thank you sister thank you sister hallelujah now look at me all of you who have come here God bless you thank you so much for coming I want you to know that you will never be the same in Jesus name this is the greatest decision you will ever make in your life now lift your right hand high above your head and say this very very loud say after me Lord Jesus is not a poem say Lord Jesus I love you I believe you died for me I surrender my heart to you because I cannot help myself today I make Jesus Lord of my life I denounce sin and Satan I declare that I'm born again the life of God is in me and Satan will go go was he praying and what, what was I saying and Satan will live my life forever in the name of Jesus come out of us she's making Jesus Lord of her life you're a foul spirit out out you're a wicked spirit go this is this is authentic born again authentic one that comes with a dramatic change many of you got born again you were laughing from the beginning to the end you don't even know what happened to you this is what they call old time religion born again the one that will leave a mark in your life you won't forget unfortunately those who talk about old time don't go far enough they mean religious born again acts of the apostles holy spirit come and live in me from today i am yours in the name of jesus i'm a child of god i break free from addictions in the name of jesus christ amen I appreciate them look at me brothers and sisters thank you so much this is the best decision you have ever made in your life to make jesus lord of your life now i'd like you to just follow the ushers they will lead you and then will follow you up and make sure you are grounded in the things of God. Never forget this day from today. You're going forward ever and backward never in Jesus' name. God bless you. Please appreciate them. Pastor Jakes is meeting with you tomorrow by, by 5 p.m. Chapel premises. Please, ushers, make sure you remind them. Tomorrow, 5 p.m. Hallelujah. Now, if you're worshiping with us for the first time inside and outside we're out of time please i'd like you to run and come out quickly we want to bless you appreciate them thank you for coming thank you confidence is come out here you'll be the first to receive the blessing in the name of jesus come out of her she's a visitor but you must leave don't go back the same way hallelujah when we say we have a blessing we're not joking we really mean it come quickly thank you for coming
Thank you, brothers and sisters, for coming. This is Koinonia. Today happens to be our miracle service. We meet here every Friday. Hallelujah. I assure you, you will never be the same. The Lord will bless you and he will make you a wonder in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I pray that he will help you. I pray that his grace will be at work in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are going to pray for you. Whatever you came here with, whatever expectation, believe God and it will be done. Hallelujah. Saints of God, stretch your hands as we pray for them. Father, may they step into blessings beyond their imagination. We bless you with a fresh hunger for God's presence. You will love the Lord more than anything. We bless you with the spirit of prayer. We bless you with passion for the word. I command everyone under the influence of any spirit that is not of God to be free. In the name of Jesus, we open up closed doors for you. We anoint you in the name of Jesus. May you walk in paths of the glory. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will never be the same again. May the hand of God be strong upon your life. May the Lord use you mightily. In the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for coming. We'd love to see you again and again. And we pray. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.